Don't miss any of the action at Oceanside, Chula Vista, Torrey Pines, and many more San Diego schools. Download the free UT Preps app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. What's happening, sports fans? Thank you very much for checking in with San Diego Prep Insider. My name is Christian Pedersen, hanging out here in Mission Control. We got more teams punching their tickets for some finals, plus a basketball game that you absolutely have to see to believe. Let's go ahead and roll the highlights. Top seeded Vista taking on Torrey Pines. Let's see who the first team to go to the finals is gonna be. Vista showing the top seed defensively, Question is, could their offense get it going? Kaylee Hughes says answer is yes. Vista will be scoring tonight. Emma Frank, she's gonna get in on the action. Cross the net, that's a goal. Not the only one from Frank on the night though. She's showing some range here. Spots it up, blows it by the goalie. Tory Pines though would not be kept off the board. Anise Mathis helping the Falcons get it going in the first, but then it was time for Samantha Witt. Nothing could stop her. Tory Pines would need a binding UN resolution to get this one done. Wit unstoppable with that fire. As I said on the other end, Vista defensively holding it down, showing why they are the top seed. Rebecca Tanner there, left-handed deep shot. Terrilyn Delu, she'll get in on the scoring action. Tory Pines just couldn't throw enough at him as Vista is going to the finals. Let's hear from Emma Frank. Well, we were ranked number one, but we still have to prove ourselves as much as any other team out there. We're just trying to get that ring and go for the goal. Second game of the night, Fallbrook taking on Rancho Buena Vista. Two teams met earlier this season with RBV coming out on top. Let's see if we got a different result here. Ariana Young's the third one to tip it, third time's the charm. That's a goal for Fallbrook. Moments later, Jasmine Patterson getting her own rebound and a score. You know Taylor Dowden's name. Now see Taylor Dowden score. That's another one. It kept coming for Fallbrook early on. Jasmine Patterson doesn't require a second tip in that time. RBV second quarter though. Getting some scoring started, trying to make this one close. Megan Coffin, that's the first one. Casey Frame, two defenders, three defenders, four defenders, doesn't matter, I'll blow it by all of them. RBV making a comeback. Taylor Dowden says, no thanks, we wanna to go to the finals. And my friend Mackenzie Montgomery wants to score some also. Montgomery, ooh, that's nice. RBV in the fourth quarter, Getting some scoring in, but it would not be enough. That's Cheyenne Elton. But as I said, Montgomery wanted to close this one out and get a chance to play for the ring. Fallbrook, Vista, the matchup is set. Let's hear from Jasmine Patterson. It's great. Um, we were definitely looking forward to it. We knew that we were gonna go to finals, so now all we gotta focus on is winning against Vista. Thank you, Christian. It's playoff time, so we had to get some bonus footage for you, so I went out to a basketball game that you have to see. D1 basketball number eight, Parker playing host to number nine, Vista, and it was a good one. First frame, it's rice bound Tim Harrison with a tough lay and part of a 7-0 run for Parker to start the game. Vista would bounce back, though. Here's Cameron Henry with a gigantic block and comes down the court and nails a three. How about that? Second quarter, or Vista taking charge, excuse me, for Samuels finding Isaiah Cooper for two. Now it's Samuels doing the shooting. How about three points, though? <laughs> Parker's got to climb out of a hole now just like this today. Swinging it around the perimeter. Matt Brady, money. Tim Harrison trying to help out as well with a huge block up for Michael Palaz. Who's back at it in the white Nikes for two with the left hand? That's a good looking layup. Roll versus now it's Palaz to Harrison spinning, hitting the lay in two of his 32 on the night. Second half though was Torres Samuel's time. Here's a nice little drive and lay in. You can also pull up and hit a nice little J as well. And why not from three actually? Yeah, he can do that. Oh, how about three the old fashioned way? He didn't make the layup, but he could have had three the old fashioned way there. So Parker trying to hang in there now. With less than two minutes to play. It's Andrew Cross crossing him up, hitting the lay-in. Next time down the court, same guy, same layup, tie ball game. So this has got to come down the court now. So who do you think will give the ball to? Oh yeah, it's Tor Samuels with a lay-in of his own, two of his 32. 
So we got a tie ball game. 12 minutes and change, 12 seconds and change left. Coach Tommy, what are you drawing up? We're gonna give the ball to Pilaz at the top of the key. He's gonna hand it off to Cross. Cross looking for another layup this time on the right side. Can't get it to go. Maybe someone get the rebound, put it in. Maybe somebody, somebody, anybody. Go! Oh, one, one more try. Oh! Nobody can put it in for Parker. That is your final score. Vista wins the ball game 68 to 66 in stunning fashion on the road. <laughs>